Hello folks and welcome back to my channel. Uh, today I'm uh, testing the 6.5 Grendel, my 24 inch barrel, uh, using 107 grain Sierra Tip Match King. Now the reason for shooting those bullets to t is to analyze real world data in my rifle against the listed data for the 6mm arc by Hornaday for their 108 grain ELD match. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and work up uh, these loads. Uh, I'll roll in some footage for you, maybe even some target footage, but uh, I'll have a complete analysis at the end with the actual targets. Uh, the shooting is completed. There's the targets. Uh, so I will go over that with you. Uh, again, uh, folks, if you like this content, please give me a thumbs up, uh, leave a comment, subscribe, hit the bell icon so that you can be notified of my future videos. This may be my last video for uh, 2020 because uh, it is Advent season right now and uh, I've got to focus as most of you would focus on what's important this time of year which is family and friends and and obviously the uh, the impending celebration of the birth of our Lord Jesus. So I'll see you uh, probably at the beginning of the year. Uh, but stay tuned, I've got data uh, to share with you. Thanks for watching, folks. Well, folks, I'm already at 2,700 and I'm only halfway through my loads. Not only that, you're going to... I'm really impressed with the Sierra Tip Match King 107 grain. Uh, so far, less than a half inch group, uh, pretty much all bullseyes. So you don't think I'm BSing you, I'm going to turn the camera on the target for these next three shots so that you can see the actual impact. Uh, uh, I hope all I have is my camera to do the zoom on, so I hope that you'll be able to see that. But let me turn the camera on, around, get on the target, hopefully you can see it. Well, that's my max zoom uh, at 100 yards. I hope you can see it. I'll be uh, shooting at the uh, target on the right, and it'll be the upper right little three inch target there. Hopefully, you can see the impact. I don't know. Uh, but here we go, fire in the hole. Twenty seven thirty five, Twenty seven ten. So that group opened up compared to the other two uh, sets of groups, but as you can see, uh, the speed is already up to twenty seven thirty, and I've got uh, I'm not even three quarters of a of of a full grain yet to the max load. So hold on, folks. I got three more shots, then we'll analyze the target. Okay, folks, I'm back from the range. Uh, there's my targets for today using the 107 grain Sierra tip matching in my 6.5 Grendel with a 24 inch barrel. All uh, the data is written there. Uh, the groups range from three quarters of an inch, half inch, one inch, and then the last one was uh, at the highest velocity, which was 2763. It opened up to about one and a quarter inch, but 
that had a flyer there, that had to be me because these two shots are right together. So the, the tip match king shot really, really well. Okay, now I want to go to uh, Hornaday's data, which is right here. Uh, this comes right off of their uh, website. Uh, so we'll go down to the 108 grain ELD uh, match bullet because that's the closest comparison that I have to the 107 grain Sierra Match King. Uh, the six point, the six millimeter arc, uh, that 108 grain uh, ELD has a very high uh, ballistic coefficient of 0 0.530, whereas on my Sierra Tip Match King, the bullet, uh, the ballistic coefficient was 0.445. So this one will outperform uh, the Grendel no matter what in terms of, of BC. But there you go, there's the load. Uh, there's Power Pro Varmint right there and it tops out at 2,700 feet per second. Uh, and today, as I showed you, my top speed was 2,763. Uh, so let's go to the actual ballistic calculator itself. Here's for the 6.5 Grendel using the 107 Sierra uh, Tip Match King. You can see there's the 0.445 uh, BC. Okay, so here's the velocity and most important to a hunter is the amount of energy and where it falls below a thousand feet per second. In this case it's uh, or a thousand foot-pounds, and here it is at uh, 400 yards. And then there it is right there, you can see that, and then it drops to at 500 yards uh, quite a bit. Okay, compare that to the arc. There's your, there's your uh, ballistic coefficient of 0.547. Uh, there's the speed recorded by uh, Hornaday, 2750, and there's a 108 grain bullet. Uh, traveling at, uh, well, 2750, as they say. But here it is, uh, according to this ballistic chart, that goes clear out to 500 yards and still retains 1,026 uh, foot-pounds of energy. Uh, so in terms of, the, you know, the garbage in, garbage out, the six millimeter arc retains energy for 100 yards more than the Grendel does. So I hope this helped you folks. Uh, let's get on with the rest of it.